hello everyone uh, so in previous section uh, in my previous uh, tutorials i have just described how to install jenkins in different ways that is installation as a service installation using application server installation using uh, command line so uh, today's uh, today's tutorial is uh, more uh, is to move further ahead and create jobs in jenkins so how do we create a job in jenkins so for that first you go to the jenkins make the dashboard available login uh, login to the server is must first login with your the user you created once you are logged in just click on new item so new item will help you create the first job now new item uh, in new item we can see here a lot of options so these options uh, have differed from quite few months and years if we see earlier earlier we have a job we have a configuration or a template for a uh, maven job freestyle is still there freestyle is the common job uh, earlier instead of these pipelines external and all we had maven job and multi configuration job is still there so those things these things are new now now, now like pipeline external job github those things anyways for our tutorial we will consider the uh, freestyle uh, project so let's go i'll just give it the first name so uh, you can give it any name so as this is our first tutorial for the job so i am giving this uh, name select the freestyle project just click ok so now our job is created so in the job we need to configure the various things which jenkins need to perform or the operations or the scripts or anything which jenkins need to perform we need to define it in the configuration section so our job is created see we can see tutorials first job and these are the configuration sections this is the general section source code management source code management section is the section where our version control uh, uh, tools are configured then build triggers are the section where we uh, define some other parameters related to that like if you want to schedule the job you can use build uh, uh, periodically and just mention the timings and all for the schedule if you want uh, to build after some other projects are built you can select this option uh, and similarly there are other options build environment is the section where you need to uh, define certain criteria before building like delete workspace you may need, you may need to delete the workspace before the build starts or we can define like if the build is stuck then we can uh, go for this option and we can define the timings here then we you can add times timestamps to the con uh, to the console output and you can use secret keys also so in the build section in the, uh, and the build section is where you add the um, uh, command prompt like you can select the uh, and uh, so you can select the command prompt box that is the shell or batch or any other thing which will help you to execute the scripts or run your own scripts with the help of jenkins command prompt box the post uh, post build section is the one uh, which defines what to do after the build step is done at the last step what you need to do like this may be like uh, there may be there may be some options like email configuration like after the build uh, you need want to notify whether the build is success or fail so depending on that you want to send mail or you want to publish the reports uh, and or the delete the workspace etc and etc these are the various uh, options we can see here so for now let's move it to the first section we have given the project name already how well going in description in description uh, you can uh, give anything but i'll give this is my uh, first jenkins job you can give any good description so that you can remember why or uh, or the other users can know why the job was been created now just for a simple job we'll just go to the build section as i have installed uh, this in windows uh, os and i have not created any slave so by default my master uh, agent or slave uh, will run on windows only that is this uh, particular this particular uh, os on which the jenkins is hosted if you if, if you are not sure about slaves or jenkins agents i'll cover it in the later in the later tutorials just for now just uh, think of something like 
if I select this win execute Windows batch, this means it, it it will execute some commands in the in the batch uh, or uh, in the batch mode or or you can say in the Windows environment that is DOS environment. Don't worry about slaves and agents. I'll cover it later and I'll explain it uh, in detail. So for now, just consider like whatever we are doing here, it will uh, reflect the changes in my operating system or in this current computer. So let's uh, pass some variable else or just echo a command. So I will echo echo. Hi, this is my first Jenkins job. You can write anything or echo anything, which should be as per the uh, conventions of batch scripting or DOS commands. Otherwise, it, the build will fail. So let's save the job. Yes, so our first Jenkins job is created. That is our first project name is tutorial first job and uh, the description here is my uh, first Jenkins job in this, this description um, by the description people can know why did you create this job so let's now just try building it so here are various options we can see we have to just click build now so as we can see in the build history number one hash number one this is the first build which we created and a blue uh, blue sign means the build is success if it is red then it's fa it's failed so let's see the logs for logs just click on the blue ball and we can see in the just come to the control uh, we can see here some more details like just going back you can see some more details like who is the user who has uh, triggered the build just I, because i have clicked on the build now so it's with my name no changes uh, here you don't need to worry about this thing we will cover this later this is related to our version control tool from where Jenkins fetches the changes of the you know, files and here we can see when it was started how much time it has taken these timestamps everything is there now let's go to the uh, log information to see what Jenkins has done so just click on console output and we can see it is started by Amrit user. The workspace it used is uh, C Jenkins here, here, here. So you can just go here and uh, uh, see what Jenkins has done. Actually, it's nothing. Just it has created a directory here. So you can see it's it's created a, a, a workspace here or or the path here where the Jenkins does its work. Uh, but as we have passed only echo command so uh, nothing is there or the folders or file nothing is there inside this path so we can see if, uh, this is the tutorial job command it has what Jenkins has done is it has called the uh, it has created a temporary bat file in the temp area of the tomcat and then it has uh, used the batch uh, prompt for executing it see we uh, had given the command echo hi this is my function for Jenkins job so it has printed the echo here lastly uh, after that uh, Jenkins uh, always checks for the exit code what is the exit code of the previous command or what it has done so if exit code 0 means our uh, uh, the command was successful so it has given the result as success so congratulations we have created our first Jenkins job